Have you ever wondered about the environmental impact of aviation? The roar of engines taking off, the contrails streaking across the sky, and the technologies that make it all happen. They're all part of a complex web of environmental interactions. Aviation, like many other industries, leaves its mark on our planet. But the world of aviation is not standing idle. It's actively striving to reduce its environmental footprint. And at the heart of this effort is the International Civil Aviation Organization, or IAO. ICAO is a specialized agency of the United Nations that sets international standards and regulations for aviation safety, security, efficiency, and environmental protection. One of their most important regulations is Annex 16, a comprehensive set of standards aimed at minimizing the environmental impact of aviation. Annex 16 focuses on two main areas, aircraft noise and engine emissions. By setting stringent standards in these areas, IKO aims to ensure that the growth of the aviation industry doesn't come at the cost of our environment. So, how exactly does Annex 16 work, and what impact does it have on the world of aviation? Let's delve into the details of Annex 16 and its significant role in environmental protection. So what exactly is Annex 16? Well, it's a comprehensive document that outlines the standards and recommended practices for managing the environmental impact of aviation. Annex 16 is divided into distinct volumes, each focusing on a specific aspect of environmental protection. Volume 1 deals with aircraft noise, Volume 2 targets aircraft engine emissions, and Volume 3 focuses on CO2 emissions. These volumes together form a holistic approach towards environmental protection in aviation. Each volume plays a critical role in regulating the environmental impacts of aviation, setting clear guidelines for noise limits, emission standards, and CO2 certification procedures. Through these regulations, Annex 16 helps ensure that advancements in aviation technology are balanced with the need to protect our environment. Now that we know what Annex 16 entails, let's explore each volume in detail. Volume 1 of Annex 16 focuses on aircraft noise. It's a comprehensive guide, laying out the standards for noise certification and measurement methods. Since the 1970s, these standards and recommended practices have been in place, marking a notable shift in the aviation industry's approach to noise management. Over the years, these standards have evolved, keeping pace with advancements in technology. Higher bypass ratio jet engines, introduced in 1977, led to more stringent noise standards, pushing the industry towards quieter skies. The standards have been designed not only for jet planes, but also propeller-driven airplanes, light propeller airplanes, helicopters, and tilt rotors, ensuring a holistic approach to noise management. Fast forward to 2014, and a new chapter was added to the noise standard. This addition led to an expected reduction in the number of people affected by significant aircraft noise. It's a testament to how far we've come and how committed the aviation industry is to reducing noise pollution. These standards serve as a guide for certificating authorities on noise certification procedures. And for the general public, there's the NoiseDB, a comprehensive noise database maintained for public information. It's a nod to transparency, letting everyone know what's being done to manage and reduce aircraft noise. But the work doesn't stop there. The industry is now looking to develop new noise standards for supersonic airplanes. It's a sign of the times, showing that as technology advances, so too will our approach to managing and mitigating the noise it produces. With these standards, the industry has made significant strides in reducing aircraft noise. It's a journey of continuous improvement, one that's leading us towards quieter skies and a more sustainable future. Moving on to Volume 2, the focus shifts to aircraft engine emissions. Let's take a moment to understand why this volume is so pivotal. The emissions from aircraft engines, including smoke, hydrocarbons, and nitrogen oxides, pose significant environmental challenges. But how do these regulations work, and what impact do they have? Firstly, we need to understand what these emissions are. Smoke, as you might guess, is the visible part of exhaust gases. Hydrocarbons are organic compounds made of hydrogen and carbon that contribute to air pollution. Nitrogen oxides, or NOx, are gases that contribute to the formation of smog and acid rain, and also affect the ozone layer. The regulations set by Volume 2 aim to limit these emissions, creating a healthier environment for us all. 
They provide clear guidelines for certifying and operating airplane engines, ensuring compliance with emission standards. But these aren't just rules on a page. They have a real-world impact. For instance, the introduction of these regulations has driven significant advancements in engine design and technology. Manufacturers have been prompted to innovate, developing engines that emit less smoke, hydrogens, and NOx. An example of this is the development of high bypass ratio jet engines, which have not only reduced noise, but also led to more efficient fuel consumption and lower emissions. The regulations also have a broader, more profound impact. They contribute to the reduction of the environmental footprint of aviation, an industry that is continually growing. By setting these standards, Volume 2 of Annex 16 helps to balance this growth with the need to protect our environment. These regulations play a crucial role in mitigating the environmental impact of aviation emissions. So as we soar through the skies, we can take comfort in the knowledge that steps are being taken to reduce the emissions footprint left behind. Volume 3 introduces standards for CO2 emissions. This section of the Annex is a critical piece in the puzzle of environmental protection in aviation, focusing specifically on the carbon footprint of air travel, a topic of increasing global concern. Within this volume, one can find the CO2 certification requirements, a set of standards designed to ensure that the aviation industry is taking active steps to mitigate its impact on the environment. These requirements are not merely guidelines, but mandatory rules that airlines must adhere to, reflecting the seriousness of the issue at hand. So, what does this mean in real terms for the airlines? Well, they are tasked with the challenge of reducing their CO2 emissions. This is a monumental task considering the nature of air travel, but it's a challenge that the industry must rise to. These standards guide airlines to incorporate more fuel-efficient engines, optimize flight paths for minimal fuel consumption, and even consider alternative fuel sources. It's a comprehensive approach that looks at every possible avenue for emission reduction. Let's take a look at an example. Imagine an airline that's investing in a fleet of next-generation aircraft designed with fuel efficiency in mind. These planes are equipped with advanced technology that allows for optimal fuel consumption, reducing CO2 emissions significantly. This isn't just a dream for the future, it's happening now, with airlines around the globe implementing these standards. And the results? They're promising. The aviation industry is making strides towards a greener future, with measurable reductions in CO2 emissions. As we can see, reducing CO2 emissions is a key focus in the aviation industry. To sum up, Annex 16 plays a pivotal role in environmental protection in aviation. It's a comprehensive set of standards and recommendations that guide the global aviation industry in mitigating its environmental impact, with an emphasis on controlling aircraft noise and emissions. Let's quickly recap. Volume 1 takes aim at aircraft noise, setting stringent standards and measurement methods to limit noise pollution. The introduction of higher bypass ratio jet engines in the late 70s, for instance, led to an increase in noise standards, significantly reducing the number of people affected by aircraft noise. On the other hand, Volume 2 tackles the issue of engine emissions. The regulations outlined in this volume have a direct influence on engine design, aiming to reduce the emission of harmful substances like smoke, hydrocarbons, and nitrogen oxides. The updates effective from July 31, 2023, ensure compliance with these emission standards, in turn reducing the environmental impact of aviation emissions. Volume 3 focuses on CO2 emissions, setting forth certification requirements that help reduce the aviation industry's carbon footprint. These standards push airlines to implement measures that decrease their CO2 emissions, contributing to the global fight against climate change. But Annex 16 isn't set in stone. As we've observed, it's continually evolving to meet new environmental challenges. The recent updates and amendments are a testament to this, and with the next set of changes taking effect in January 2024, we can expect to see further advancements in environmental protection in aviation. The impact of these standards is felt globally. Countries around the world have adopted Annex 16, resulting in significant reductions in noise and emission levels. 
This not only benefits the environment, but also improves the quality of life for communities around airports and along flight paths. Remember, every flight we take has an environmental impact. By understanding and supporting these standards, we can all contribute to a more sustainable future for aviation.